Please tell me it's what I hope it is. So what's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, uh, what's in the box? So what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? And good afternoon, good evening, and good night. G'day, 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 peeps. How are we doing? Uh, it's... <laughs> I thought people might enjoy that one. Um, we're here because a very good friend of the show, one of the Underlords, has sent me a package. And after a long period of time, because Australian Customs can suck it, um, it finally showed up. <laughs> so, basically... I said to him, yeah, I'd be happy to open it on stream. He's assured me that there's uh, nothing untoward in there that can't be shown on stream or whatever. Um, if there legitimately is a bag of dicks in there, I'm going to piss myself laughing. But um, the one thing I'm going to do, because my courier does send it with an invoice, I am going to open the box on the main camera without, this, without you know, having it all open and that sort of thing. And then I'm going to pull it out. Then we'll get to it. So, <laughs> box of dicks times. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But... Um, I'm hoping that the camera isn't too, I'm a little bit worried. I attached the main camera to a splitter and I think it's degraded the color, the quality of the picture, but anyway, doesn't matter. Moving on. All right. Cutting through the DHL crap, which surprisingly did turn out to be the, uh, fastest and most effective way to get it here because it was going to be here it was it was allegedly in australia within three to five business days but um so wait hayden is wanting a bag full of dicks i just think it'd be funny honestly all right let me just check where's the invoice I'll do that without stabbing myself okay so it's been repacked that looks like it's been... Right, so we got packaging and crap. So it looks like my US put it inside another box. Which means that I just need to work out exactly where... <coughs> where are we? Yes, you can probably see my gunt right now. I do not care. Shit, I'm going to have to take this off the table. <coughs> Hopefully not dox myself in the meantime. Holy... This thing is heavy, Stingy. What the hell did you put in here? Seriously. Box inside a box. Really worth it. Will we do live stream about what happened in Sydney? Uh, I did an entire two hours on it. Uh, I didn't do that on YouTube. Uh, oh, for the record, we are actually going out live for the first time simultaneously on YouTube, Twitter. We're back on Twitch. We are on Rumble. We are on my Facebook page. Um, but no, so there is a, there is specifically a whole two hours covering it over on Rumble. I did that there, A, because I could speak my mind openly, and B, because I felt it necessary. So, um, you know, I'll be honest, I don't think, I can't see the invoice. It might be clean and clear, Sinji. It might be good. All right, moving across. Hang on, it's it's a bit quiet. Let's get some music going too, shall we? Pandemic. No, I don't want to. I just want a random playlist. I don't care. Stuff pick. Stuff picks will do. I don't need to up that one. There we go. That'll do. Don't forget to get to hit the like, people. This is true. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe. And thank you to thank you to Stingy first and foremost for this. 
I mean, now I'm thinking that might be a little bit loud. Very professional here, people. Very professional. Uh, make a... What's that? Make a box of dick song for packages like this. Yeah, look, I pretty, I pretty could. They didn't? Oh, that's a shame. Alright, well, hang on. Let's hit across to... Alright. Box. Looks like... Okay, pieces of paper. Do you want me to open the card first? Aussie Fat Man Overlord. Classy. Love it. Can you already see it's being flipped? Has it? When you say flipped, do you want me to turn the entire box upside down? Only issue with multiple live streams chats is you've got you've got a bot in Twitch. Okay. Well, that's all right. I mean, I don't think I've even got the Twitch um Twitch chat open. So anyway, no, it's fine. Okay. Here to get Aussie to thirty two K subscribers. That'd be awesome if we could manage that. What's this? So hang on. What's in the box? Please tell, tell me it's what I hope it is. So what? The floor is a cold, hard place. That's why I always throw up on the carpet. Classy. Just don't open the box on the top first. Open the one under. Okay. Oop. <laughs> Hayden, want to say thank you. Hope you and your family enjoy... Went a little overboard. It, cer it certainly bloody well seems like you did. Trenton's testing out on, on uh, stickers remind you of me. Use it on a great spot. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Stingy. You know what? I think I can think of somewhere to put that. Returning my wrench since you've given since you never gave it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's being a smart ass. Oh, that's funny. Hayden wished it was a box of subscribers. Maybe. Important. Read after going through the box. Okay. I shall set that to the side. Read after going through the box. I shall sit that. Okay. Someone remind me. I'm sitting that in front of the stream deck so that I don't open it. And you said don't open this box. Open. Motherfucker. Did you do what I think you did? Okay, well, I've, I picked this up, so I'm going to show it. Shawnee Mills Pancake and Waffle Mix. That's pretty cool. Uh, are we going to cover the incident in the story? What? There was something else that happened today? What? I haven't seen anything that happened today. I've been too busy with work. That's why I didn't even stream this morning. So if there's something else that's happened, I don't know about it. And this is supposed to be a happy time. Okay. Pancake and waffle mix. Cornbread mix. Should be something wearable outside of those boxes. for winter too. Thanks, Stingy. <laughs> oh, more pancake mix. Thank you. All right, how many pancake mixes are we going to got pancake and waffle, pancake and waffle, pancake and waffle. You did me good on those. Thank you. Uh, cornbread. Oh, biscuit mix. Excellent. Oh, sweet. Thank you, buddy. Oh, no shit. You did me a solid. So we got, we got biscuit mix and we got gravy mix. So I can make biscuits and gravy. Wear it to the park. I would get arrested <laughs> for indecency. Potentially. I mean, I may not. I may do. But we'll see. Just in time, the weather's shot here. I know, right? It was perfect timing. I'm, si I'm sitting here thinking, you know what? I could potentially wear <laughs> I could potentially wear it tomorrow and see how many of Scarlet's teachers notice. <laughs> but that's like the last thing that I really need. Okay. Uh, I think that's just shipping. 
Yep, that's fine. It's just it's cardboard. Thank you. Oh, there's a whole bunch of crap under here too. Oh, fuck. So this is where the weight came from. I'm guessing that's not actually a model. Oh, no shit. Oh, you mad lad. So we've got more chicken and waffles. No, chicken and waffles. Pancake and waffles. We've got some McCormick Sloppy Joe mix. Thank you. Two things of McCormick Sloppy Joe. Uh, that's what I thought was in trouble with with customs. No, I... <laughs> ranch seasoning. Oh, sweet. Traditional ranch, salad dressing and recipe mix. Hidden Valley. Appreciate that. The hat is the least of your worries when you consider decency. <laughs> oh, see, this is great. Because that means I can, make, I can make some actual, like, see whether or not the ranch holds up. That's pretty cool. Some more gravy mix. Excellent. So I can have more thing. I can have at least two things of biscuits and gravy. We've got Taco Bell Mild Taco. Mild Taco. Original. Original. I think we're due for tacos this week. That's pretty awesome. Ooh. Cover up my ears. It's a little snug, but I'm sure it'll stretch out. Forgot that Aussie land flips seasons when we're in summer, you fucks are in winter. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. Would have been the meat products. Yeah, it was the Slim Jims. Should have been a bottle. I'm I was saving the bottle for last. Taco Bell fire sauce. Oof. Fire in the hole. That, actually, that'll come in handy with the um, Laugh You Lose It's coming up. Um, and we got another two packs of Sloppy Joe. That is freaking awesome, mate. You've sent me a care package. I absolutely love it. I'm just going to put all of the um, mixes and stuff in here because I'll take those out to the kitchen in a minute. Once we're done here. Ooh. Now I'm worried because what the hell did you put in this thing? This thing's fucking heavy. Did you, did you send me a... Wait, did you make me pay for a brick to have it shipped? Like, what? Um. Uh. No, officer, I didn't realize it was a naughty hat. It was a gift. <laughs> okay, so Gundam Way. Yep. Nice cap. Stoner's cap. Match a pole. It actually does look like one, doesn't it? Um. Hat has better all over taste. Oh, hot has better overall taste. Oh, you're talking about the sauce. Uh, fire is a perfect heat. You're just showing your pride. <laughs> all right, hang on. So this has got some tape on it. I should probably switch over to the workstation, yeah, because I can actually show. What are we looking at? Oh, holy... Select quality crown maple syrup, barrel a bourbon barrel aged. Damn, dude. You went all out. What the hell, Stingy? That's a... <laughs> Hang on. Aussie lemonade style. That's funny. Nicholas had this the other. The, Nicholas had this about a couple of months ago, and he asked me what the hell it was, and I I could not answer him because I had no idea. Dude, this is freaking sick. I'm half tempted to, to crack open this maple syrup and swig from it. Look at this shit. It is so like classy. Like. Can't tell if that's... Oh, yeah, it looks like some leaked out. Just ever so slightly, which means I can get a smell. I'm not going to taste it because, you know, it's been in a bag, but... Oh, that smells so good! Art doesn't quality be a robust flavour. Since you know the way to my heart. That is amazing. Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> oh, pint and a half of Chick-fil-A sauce. You, mate, are aces. Holy crap, I can't believe you went to this much effort for me. 
Head Country Barbecue Sauce. No high fructose corn syrup, tomato puree, sugar, vinegar, salt, Worcestershire sauce. Dude, dude, that's freaking awesome. Welcome to Head Country. Welcome to Head Country, motherfucker. Uh, Polynesian's pretty good. Yeah. La uh, last thing is locally made from. Okay, CEO is a cool guy. Oh, really? Oh, no shit. Honka City, Oklahoma. Made in the USA. Oh, that's awesome. I'm, is it alright if I share this one with Mrs? Because she loves barbecue sauce. If not, it's fine. I'll just keep it all to myself. I'm good with that too. Oh. I'm also going to hold under that box. <laughs> okay. Is there tape on this one? Can't tell if there's tape. Oh, there's a little bit of tape. Oh shit, I didn't realize I left the thing off that. Be greedy with the syrup. Thank you. You know what the fucking hilarious thing is? When they, um... When they, se when they sent me the invoice, they were like, are these the correct values for various things? And I'm like, I'm trying not to look at the thing because I didn't want to know because I knew it was a surprise. I'm just like, oh, I hope this is accurate. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. It's a G1 Megatron, complete with like... That was supposed to be hidden? Okay. That's still freaking awesome. Thank you so much, Stingy. Sweet Tarts. Mini chew mixed fruit. Cherry, grape, lemon, apple, and orange. Ooh, well though. That'll be interesting, because I don't think I had those at USA Foods, so that, that's something new for me to try. That was supposed to be hidden under all the shit. Okay. Dude, it's still freaking amazing, okay? I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. This is Christmas. Oh. Got some cherry lemonade Sonic. Awesome. Because I had I tried the what the ocean water or whatever it is, and I liked that. But um, I wanted to try some of the other flavors, so that is freaking awesome too. Uh, sweet tarts are a few of your favorites. Awesome. Warheads, always a winner. Hard candy, extreme sour, yay. Oh, I'll be able to compare those. Because we, we've got some of these here, but they're not... Um, they don't have corn syrup and that sort of thing in it, so they'll probably taste different. Sweet. Oh, you, you gave me two of them. Naturally and artificially flavored, new intense flavor. Blue raspberry. That I'm gonna look forward to. What's that? <laughs> a kid in a candy store, a social society every 10 years. Oh. Kool Aid variety packs. <laughs> ah, that's what is a good laugh, you lose. Uh, also have one before the end. I'm sure, I'm sure I can crack open one of the, um, warheads just for you, mate. Twizzlers, sweet and sour, Cit uh, cherry kick and citrus punch. That's interesting. See, because they only had the, um, the strawberry flavored tw Twizzlers. So that'll, that'll be good. I can give those a go as well. What the hell are these? This is a, I'm a, okay, so what? This is the Amer American version of Smarties. For us, Smarties are like little things like M&M's. Or do you guys have those too? What is this? Oh no. <laughs> oh, I can already see something I'm gonna love. Hang on. Send me the purple ones, Aussie.
this. I love that. That's going in my car. That's awesome, buddy. You have tiny hands according to those smarties. Look, I, I know I've got stumpy hands. I'm well aware, I'm acutely aware of that. That's why I can no longer, um... <laughs> okay, some of these might have been pushing it to whether or not they were okay to be on stream. Sticker from Gypsy Danger from, um... How the hell did you get, like, do you guys, like... How smart is a chocolate? Those look amazing, though. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is freaking awesome. <laughs> this is CNN. Where did you... How did you... Uh, whose hands are bigger, mine or Marty's? Marty's. I'm, I'm okay admitting that. Go Beyond Plus Ultra. Shenron. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Picture of Asado, that's not bad. Like, how did you source these? Like, oh, you know that one's going to get nicked by the munchkin. Brought a variety of sticker bomb packets a while ago off Amazon for cheap and took some out. Thought you'd enjoy. Don't use stickers too much. Appreciate it, mate. Heh, <laughs> doggo. That's great. Oh, that's freaking awesome. I'm going to tell you right now, the Green Ranger one, though, that's... I'm gonna make you make good use of that. I don't know where I can put that. Is that that like that's pretty cool to me. I've, that's got to go somewhere. Like that's got to go somewhere special. Holy crap! This is from 2012. Jesus. Extreme Sour Blue Raspberry. What's what's the most sour flavor of the Warheads? Remember to cover your exacto. Thank you. Uh, the paper to read from the card you didn't need. All is in there, but the Slim Jims. Okay. Red, pink, yellow, blue. That's it. Okay. So we got apple. I think we gotta go traditional lemon, don't we? Like I regret of It's not bad once the like the outer stuff that's on the outside just goes away. Her face will never get old. <laughs> it was at that moment he knew he... Hang on, I got that. Uh, it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Yeah, I'm going to need some coke after that. Holy crap. Not seeing anything disgusting or inappropriate. Well, I mean, unfortunately, I think that if there was anything inappropriate, Customs probably would have taken it out. Thanks to their friggin' decency laws or whatever the hell it was. Put one of each colour. 
Well, I mean, I've got one of each color here. I just, I'm, I'm gonna give it a minute, just to. I'm starting to think these would be good for, you know, a punishment thing. That's for sure. Uh, just got royally said there was just to fuck with him. <laughs> it was a feel good box. Dude, I, I have to say, this is freaking amazing. I cannot believe you went to this much trouble for me. Like... Am I supposed to give you a raise now? Like, what, what am I supposed to do? You're, you're an ADA, so you're, like, technically you're paid by the government, I think? But, like... <laughs> this, this is freaking amazing. I'm, I'm legitimately heartwarmed by this. And now I just want to make a, sh make, make a sandwich with, with the Chick-fil-A sauce. Right. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Poor Aussie taste buds are not used to flavor. Uh, no, I mean, the, f the flavor's fine. It's the initial hit that's... Um, the lemon's quite nice. So... Oh, loving it. Budget Tim Pool. Oh, God, I didn't even think of that. Although I do like the hat. I, I just, I, I have no idea where I'm going to wear it. Because there's pretty much nowhere where it's appropriate. <laughs> At least you didn't have an energy drink for the morning. That is true, because I haven't done my, um, I haven't done my new thing for the week yet, have I? Because I, I skipped over streaming on Sunday. So there is, I, I do need to try something new. So... Should record the wife saying it for the first time. I'm not allowed to wear it on the school run. There's no way in hell I can wear that on the school run. Hang on, where's my phone? Let's <clears throat> see if I can make this work. Hang on. Oh. It went out live on Facebook as adulterous judge recused new tonsil twins filing and tickle and giggle update. Stupid Streamlabs. <laughs> Be careful doing too many warheads. I got a nosebleed when I did a bunch of warheads and crybabies. Sour gums, if you don't know. Granted, I was in seventh grade, but I won't forget. Hang on. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. What's wrong? Uh, I just wanted to show you my new hat. It's sexy. No, no, wait for it. <laughs> Can you see it? I don't know where I'm allowed to wear it, but I'll find somewhere. <laughs> is that what two reindeers going at each other? That's exactly what it is. <laughs> uh, I'll say it. Try the syrup. Bet you make waffles in the morning. Maybe. We'll see what happens. So, but anyway, I just wanted to get your initial reaction to the hat because I figured it was easier than getting you to get out of bed. <laughs> Stingy has been an amazing bloke. Some of the crap that he sent is just phenomenal and um we're not going to be running out of pancake and waffle mix anytime soon oh, i'm just gonna be happy with that mm -hmm. and there's a whole bunch of lollies for us to share there's a american barbecue sauce here that i'm sure you'll be able to give a try to and um i'm i'm, I'm, I'm bloody stoked i'm not gonna lie nice hat. thank you anyway i'll let you get back to sleep and i'll um finish streaming Okay. See ya. Bye. Someone told me why I just said to my wife, see ya. <laughs> Good morning, Kaiser. And what is it on my head? This is my new beanie. Straight from, um, straight from Sinji. I think it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> Although I do kind of look like a budget temple, don't I? 
That's right. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. <laughs> the uninterested sexy. Yes. Well, I mean, that's that's just a wife. So. <sighs> Sounds like a more serious underlying issue, quite possibly. Uh, do you all go Christmas caroling, wear it then? You can wear that hat to church. I am wearing this to church. You know what? I'm... <laughs> it's your immediate cats. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a fucking deer on your head. Yep. <laughs> and I forget, do the ladies grow antlers or not? Because we don't really have deer here. <laughs> I just think it's good. The only trouble is my head's getting hot. Thirds on the Lerman drum judgment. Um, I missed the first like hour and a half to two hours of, this, of the sentencing. I think I got in on the like, the last, um, I was, I was literally gay deer. That are fucking on my head. Lovely. Um, I personally loved the judge's soundbite. That having escaped the lines, Denny went back for his hat. So. It's, it's kind of what I was expecting, frankly. In terms of the judgment. I want to sit down and read the full thing before I go too in depth on commentary on it. Um, because I mean, it's going to be a few hundred pages and what the judge said in a few, in like three hours would have only just been a tip of the iceberg. Um, I don't know why Wilkinson bothered to like walk out acting so up herself and like, oh yes, you know, the judge ruled in my favor. All that sort of, yeah, sure. He ruled in your favor, but he also rebu rebuked you and the lawyer quite substantially. So Is it winter there? Doesn't Australia only have summer? No, we have um, we have we have winter. If you if you go to Darwin, like you've got the dry season and the wet season. Wet season is generally you know your thirty degree Celsius heat, and it might drop to eighteen during this during the winter. But um, this is a great way to start the day. Thanks to Tinji for sending the great array of stuff to Aussie, and thanks for sharing opening the box with us. There, there was no way that I couldn't. Also, given that a whole bunch of you didn't, um, won't have seen it yet, or, and you didn't probably probably didn't start from the start, I did open the show with a little stinger that I did for Stingy, and I just enjoy it because I think it's funny. So I'm going to play it again. What's in the box? And please tell me it's what I hope it is. So what's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? So what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? I did originally have that set up so that she goes through the whole spiel and it's all that sort of stuff. And um, I kind of cut it off there at the fireworks. I thought that was a better place to finish it. But um, you didn't play that at the beginning? Yeah, I did. It, it played automatically because I forgot to stop it. <laughs> so, <sighs> but yeah. Thank you so much, Stingy. Uh, I was missing the one clip. The it's my dick in a box clip. You know, if I'd thought about it, I probably would have added that. But um, there are a whole bunch of like things that I was trying to search through and I was doing, I was trying to do it quickly, but I knew how I wanted it to end with the stock footage of the guy opening the box and then just the explosions. And I just chef's kissed it. So I really enjoyed that. Um, but I'm getting to the center of the um, warhead. And the, the idiot inside of me is going, hmm, maybe I should put another one in my mouth. But we'll see how I go. God damn it. Hang on, so where's this cornbread mix? So we've got cornbread and we've got biscuits. Now, because when I went to America, the only biscuits and gravy that I had were at IHOP. 
and people jumped all over me on so on social media because apparently that's not true biscuits and gravy, which I get. It's fast food. It's whatever else. Um, missed the box quotes from UHF too. You'll have to alight me on that one, um, Paulson. I'm, you know, still half asleep, so. Homesteading during the Oklahoma land run years, the J. Lloyd Ford family built their original log cabin in 1895. Preserved by his company, the landmark still stands today. The mill he started in 1906 is a legacy to his insistence on quality products. Hmm. So what do you do? Preheat the oven. Empty the console context into a contents into a bowl. Fluff it with a fork. I think there's going to be a cooking stream. And I can promise there'll be 100% less salt. And if Jeff did not just spit his drink, I'm going to... I have, I have not done my job. Should have went to Cracker Barrel. Next time. Uh, if you want to drop by here... Yeah, if you want to drop by here, if you want proper biscuits and gravy... Fair enough, mate. I, fair enough. Uh, milk stir in to form a soft dough. Turn out onto floured surface. Knead until smooth. Roll out until it's half inch thick. And cut with a two inch cookie cutter. USA, we have weird food. Hey, I... I don't say that it's weird. It's different. And see, this is, this is the thing that I was saying the other day, is that... Um, Actually, I'm not even sure if I said it on stream, but I definitely, I was, I was, um, doing it in a, um, on a tweet and that sort of thing. And about how, you know, people saying that America doesn't have culture, that it's appropriation of other cultures from all around the country, sorry, from all around the world. But is that not how a country's culture grows? Is that not how it becomes, how it begins? All the different tribes, like, um... Interacting and taking little bits and pieces here and that sort of thing with proper assimilation, not having someone come in and impose their culture on you, but by interacting and learning new things. So I, I, I fully disagree with that. I think that America has its own culture. I think that Australia has its own culture. And I think that the fact that individuals are trying to destroy said culture is... Um, You know, pathetic, frankly. People who talk about the lack of culture usually just suffer from lack of character. That's a fair call. <clears throat> Remember when the USA was considered the melting pot? Mm. Ozzy went to Outback Steakhouse for our authentic Aussie experience too. I did, and as I've said the whole time, Outback Steakhouse is just as authentic as the media. Just enough authenticity to fool the uneducated. And apparently Texas Roadhouse has a better blooming onion. I'll have to try that the next time we go down there. We give the world shit like Twizzlers, Smarties, and Kool-Aid. People forget gumbo is a combination of other countries' foods. There you go. There you go. Now you want biscuits? It's almost 11 o'clock at night, and I'm thinking about making something. Trouble is, I don't want to wake the child, because she's got school in the morning. Please. I mean, as weird as it sounds, can I at least just make up the ranch dressing? Oh, no, because you know, oh, that's a recipe for pork chops. Wait, so is there an actual recipe for the dressing? Fresh dressing directions. In a bowl, combine one cup of milk, one cup of mayonnaise. One cup of mayonnaise? See you, Cakes Boo. Excuse me. Outback is as, as authentic as the Aussie Lemonade Monster, I bet. I'm actually really freaking curious. I'm really curious. <clears throat> Milk and mayonnaise with the, cut, with the contents of the packet. Mix well. Cover for, uh, and refrigerate. Chill for 30 minutes to thicken. Bef stir before th serving. See, because I love ranch dressing. That stuff's amazing just to seasoning. Okay, I'll, I'll trust you on that. But I mean, I love ranch. And you know what? I, I know that that's such a white boy thing to say. He says sitting here with a friggin' um, 
We all have our different ways of doing things. It's interesting learning. This is true. Mayonnaise is disgusting. Go streak penalty box. Uh, use it on chicken or pork steak. Pork steak. Okay. Pork steak. Of course it's okay to be white. Uh, read the can descriptions on the back of the can. Well, on the back of the monster. Inspired by the land down under with over 10,000 beaches, the Great Barrier Reef and the home of some of the most exotic citrus on earth, we created Juice Monster Aussie-style lemonade. Monsters twist on classic lemonade and we hit the ideal balance of tart and sweet with a burst of fresh citrus flavour. As always, it's chockers with our world-famous Monster Energy Blend. Crack a coldy and give it a go. Unleash the beast. Put it in a pint of sour cream and it makes the best chip, dever, best chip dip in the universe. Pork steak, what is that, a chop? No, you can um, you can actually get, like, pork steaks now, Ben, they've done that. Sitting there with a tea cosy on his head. Dude, have you seen this tea cosy? It's got two, two deers fucking, okay? There is no way I'm taking this off at the moment. Pork steak is a bigger, bigger than a pork chop. Yeah, either that, or you can get, like, the pork medallions as well, which are, like, little things you can fry up and whatever. And, um, I don't mind those. <laughs> Course. Um, oh, I'm also curious to try the cherry limeade. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna wait until I've gone through the um through the ocean water one, and then I will uh, put that out. I reckon. So that's um okay. It's gotta be something else. What, what else can I? Oh, I can crack open one of these. So what have we got? Tropical Punch, Cherry, Blue Raspberry, and Lemonade. Hello. Uh, it's a whole herd of deer fucking. This is true. Just They just keep going and going and going. These are all the same flavors. Yes, they are. Good. Sinji, you're freaking awesome. You know that? You really are. And all this, people, because he sent something to my P.O. box. Blue Raspberry Lemonade. Blue Raspberry Lemonade. What? <laughs> How? Regular Lemonade. Cherry flavor. And Tropical. See, I've tried the Tropical before. I actually think I've got the Strawberry one sitting around here somewhere that I've been meaning to make up as well. Um, the cool ladies for a gallon. Yeah, I know. No, no, no. I, I've made up a couple of these ones, but um, I don't know how much you paid for these, but uh, here, if you're grabbing them from the store, because they get imported, these are like a, like two, $3 each. So I'm, I'm sort of careful with how often I make them. It's not a simple bottle additive. No, that's all right. Always want to try Kool-Aid. It's pretty good. I have to store the, stir the Kool-Aid with a wooden spoon. <laughs> Need to get one of the big glass jugs full of water and stir it with the big wooden spoon. I like it. Expensive Kool-Aid? Yeah. Like about a dollar? Damn. Biscuit mix. Cornbread. What is cornbread? De-germed white cornmeal, bleached white flour, palm oil, soybean oil, dextrose, sodium bicarbonate, salt... Malted barley flour, whey, nascent, and reduced iron. Cornbread is amazing. It's like a 27 pack, 25 cent pack or less. Cool. See, because I wanted to try, I wanted to try cornbread while I was there, but I, I didn't get the opportunity to. Makes one six inch or one eight inch pan. Cornbread's great with chili. Cornbread whips biscuits ass. Cornbread is bread made out of cornmeal. Aussie's read more of the ingredients than I have ever read. <laughs> it's because I'm interested. I, I want to learn. I, I like all these new things. Like, this is this is of interest to me. Um, okay, tell me this, though. The taco seasoning from Taco Bell, is that just for tacos, or can I use this on burritos as well? So we, got? we got original, we got mild, and then... Yeah. The Taco Bell fire sauce. Jalapeno peppers. Okay, so as long as it's not having error or something that's going to blow my ass out, that'll be fine. Sweet! 
I will send you a better cornbread recipe. <laughs> Good pork cornbread goes with pretty much everything. Now I want you to taste test the syrup and the barbecue sauce. See, we just opened a barbecue sauce. That's the only thing. I mean, how long does this stuff last after it's, after it's opened? Refrigerate after opening, but I mean, how long will it last for? I mean, the syrup, the syrup will last for ages. I think I've still got a bottle from that was made in um, Canada. That... May contain trace amounts of alcohol. Divided my attention for a second and suddenly I hear not going to blow my ass out. <laughs> Dude, get into Vegas. You'll have some awesome cornbread. I will do my absolute utmost to get there. Okay, then don't. Okay. Uh, best cornbread is cooked with the lard. Damn near forever. That stuff will last years through a nuclear war. <laughs> this stuff is so funny. I feel... I'm feeling a little bit like Homer Simpson where he does a thing and he like, or maybe this is how Jeff appraises a new bottle of whiskey, but I'm sitting here just going, look at the coloring of that syrup and the, the consistency of it. I cannot wait to make pancakes this weekend. Oh. You're freaking amazing. Uh, Kaiser will make better cornbread than the Vegas, Vegas shithole. Well, you know. I've got to get a Vegas first, so we'll see what happens. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so the McCormick Sloppy Joe stuff. What do I need to add to this? Ground meat and large skillet, drain the fat, stir in the seasoning, mix tomato paste and water. Okay, so you've got to add tomato paste and water. Do I need to buy American tomato paste or is that the same sort of thing here? Bring to boil, reduce heat, simmer for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally, serve on rolls. This sounds significantly more in depth than, um, than what the, um, cornbread can be moist, sweet, or savory, you like dry and savory. Okay. About eight servings per container. So one of these will make eight rolls, basically. The little one enjoy will enjoy helping. It, yeah, well, I mean, she enjoyed helping with the... <laughs> She enjoyed helping with the original ones. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Uh, actually, I'm making cornbread for our D&D &D session next weekend, doing a chili bar with Tex-Mex goodness. Oh, make me jealous. There are two types of cornbread. Cornbread with actual corn in and corn cornbread cake type. Interesting. Yeah, Flux, I'm trying to get to Vegas. Things are slowing down with work, so I need to be careful, and I can't just blow money unfortunately so if i can make it i will don't listen to a former utah man about southern food utah knows zero about good food <laughs> oh fair enough thanks for stopping by Manice. appreciate it oh all right guys do the smarties taste the same dude our smarties look nothing like this our smarties are chocolate like, I, I I don't even know what this is. Like, oh, it's powdery. Is, is it anthrax? Do I, need, do I need to be worried here? No, the negotiations with the wife aren't too bad. Um, she literally said to me, look, if it's going to be cheaper than you going to Motsuri in August, then, you know, that's probably the... <clears throat> Maybe Jeff can give some Korean flair. So what the fuck is this? Cookie pancakes in ghee, it's clarified butter. Yeah, our Smarties like M&M's. This is... the sugar tablets? Uh, Kaiser Vegas is supposed to be at the end of May. <laughs> I 
And <laughs> Dork's losing his shit because that's not a smarty. They're almost like the version of Lifesavers that, um, that don't have the gloss on the outside of them. Okay. Fruit tingles. Yes, that's exactly what it's like. It's like a fruit tingle. That was interesting. That was nice. Alright. One more warhead for the road. Just because I'm going to send everybody across to Jeff because he's got his Maritime Monday. And um, I've got some planning to do now. Because holy crap. So, I'll let you guys vote. <clears throat> Red, pink, green, or blue? Which one am I going to lose my shit over? I'm inclined to say no to the red just because I'm not a big fan of cherry. But, um... Because I think that one will probably be better for a, um... Like an actual punishment thing. we got two for green, three for green, got to be pink. You don't have a yellow one? I already ate the yellow one. Green, blue. Tell you what. I'll do the stupid thing and I'll put a blue and a green in my mouth at the same time. How's that sound? Are you going to film giving the little one a warhead? She's probably still too young to have one of these. So. Blue and green are your favourites. Hang on, before I do that, I'm going to set up the redirect to make sure everything's ready to go. Uh, because there's a good chance I'm not going to be paying too much attention. Also, thank you to everybody that's uh, been here and watching. If you haven't already, why have you not hit that like or subscribe button? Just double checking. Because, you know, YouTube reckons that if you can add just one subscriber a day, that your channel will continue to grow. So. Alright. Um, sorry, I will add the redirect. Shit, where's it gone? There it is, Maritime Monday. Alright, save that. I'm gonna regret this. Three, two, one. So sour. They're okay once the initial stuff wears off. Because now I'm getting through the nice blue flight, blue, the, the hell is it? Blue, blue raspberry and the green apple. And I've got them sitting in my cheeks because my tongue is on fire! <laughs> It will not continue to grow if you lose two subs a day and only green one. Yes, Coke Fairy. That's pretty much what has happened every day for the last nine months. Which is why I'm so happy that things are actually starting to boost. Boost. Only two. Yep. So. But anyway, guys. One more great big shout out to Stingy. Because this was an amazing thing and I hugely appreciate it. And, um. I'd say he's the underlord of the month. So. But anyway. Try five more at a time. Nope. Not on this stream. I, I legitimately can't feel my tongue. It legitimately feels like someone has injected like um, anesthetic into my tongue. <clears throat> so. UHF Weird Al movie from the late 80s has a good show starting... Uh, starting a Japanese karate instructor who yells at contestants and calls them stupid. Huh. Alright. 
No worries, Benice. I will say, Benice says hi to everybody in chat. And I'm sure they're all going to say hi back. But um, anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I will see you all in, what, 11 hours, hopefully. You start planning next year's box. I, dude, I cannot believe you even did this one, and I hugely appreciate it. So, anyway. Please remember, people. Yes, I sound stupid because I've still got the things in, my, in the corner of my mouth. Um, please remember, you are not a piece of shit. You have value and you do contribute to society. Thank you to everyone that's hit the like and subscribe button. Again, huge thank you to Stingy. Hugely appreciate it. And as always, stay healthy, wealthy, and wise, people. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. Cheers, folks. Please tell me it's what I hope it is. So what's Thank you for reminding me, I will put the monster straight in the thing. And no, I'm not gonna throw I'm not gonna spin them out. They're actually delicious. Once you um once you get past the uh mouth burning phase. So but anyway. See you peeps. This shit I'm out. Mm -hmm. Fuck this shit I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit I'm out. No. Fuck this shit, I'm out. All right then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out.